Hello and welcome to the Vernazza Two Piece Elastic Installation video. This video is meant as a complement to the instructions that came with your swimsuit pattern, just to give you a visual idea of some of the steps in there. This covers the neckline and armhole elastic installation. The bottoms aren't covered, but it's essentially the same method as the armhole, so hopefully you'll have enough tools to sew the bottoms with confidence as well. So elastic is sewn into swimsuits to secure it on your body and stop the stretchy fabric from gaping. And at any given point, the elastic is actually shorter than the space it's going into. So in this video, we go over quartering, which is basically how we sew a shorter piece of elastic into a larger, you know, say armhole evenly and get good distribution so it's not all wonky once it's done. So when you're sewing the elastic in, you're stretching as you're sewing and we'll divide the elastic into four equal quarters and then we'll divide the space it's going into, say the armhole, into four equal quarters. We'll use those quarters as guidelines to make sure that when we're stretching our elastic and sewing, we're doing it evenly. So let's get started. So we'll start with the neckline elastic. So I've already marked it, but I'll show you how I found them. So fold it in half, and you got a mark right there. Fold it in half again. And then those right there, yeah. So you can see that's a quarter, and then that's a quarter. So let's find the quartering on our neckline. So that notch is where it begins. We've got our first quarter just past the shoulder seam. And I'll show you how to get that center back, the other one, and then the other notch. So to find that one, first we find center back, fold matching side seams, and there it is, I already marked it. And then we're going to match up the notch with our center back and then kind of shake it out, make it nice, don't stretch the fabric, and there it is. And then you'll do it on the other side. So let's pin that elastic to the neckline. And we'll, this elastic just goes on the lining and it goes 5 eighths inch from the edge. So match the first one up with the notch, then you've got that second marker. And I have little marks 5 eighths inch from the edge. They didn't really show in the video, but you can mark yours. You won't see this once your thing's all sewn up. So you're going to match center back. Move along to that next quarter. So yeah, we're just bringing the quarters to each other. And then that last notch is the last place that we match up the elastic. And now we're all set up to be able to stretch this elastic as we sew. So let's head over to the sewing machine and this footage is sped up so that this video doesn't end up being a two hour long movie. So to start, I take a few tentative zigzags and then I just start pulling lightly as I sew and I can reference that pin and how how far my elastic is gonna have to stretch by the time I get there. So just take it slow and steady. And again, we're 5 eighths inch from the edge when we're sewing this elastic. And it just goes on the, the lining piece so that when our top is all sewn together, it doesn't show, but we still get that kind of support and we're all tucked in to our swimsuit, but you have that really smooth, minimal finish. And yeah, so keep an eye on those quartering marks and use them as an indicator that you're still on track. Yeah, this step is one of the longer ones, but it's not too hard if you just take it slow and steady and then you'll end up with a fabulous swimsuit, so it's totally worth it. <laughs> uh, so when you get to that last notch, make sure you backstitch, which I don't think I did in the beginning, so I'll have to go back and do that. 
So our lining and main piece are pinned together and we are ready to attach them at the neckline. We're going to go all the way around that. We'll also go around the tie. So we'll start at the bottom there and start sewing a half inch from the edge. And so we'll go around, we'll pivot, come back up. And then when we get to the elastic, we just need to pull it, the top lining piece that has the elastic, we'll just pull it flat so that we're not sewing little puckers into our seam. We're not stretching the fabric, we're just flattening it as it goes under the needle. And you go all the way around and you're sewing a half inch from the edge. So we're kind of, we're next to that elastic. And then when we turn this right side out, the elastic will be on the inside and it won't show on the outside. So you have that smooth finish, but there's still support and reinforcement there, which is good. And as we come back down the neckline, you'll get to the tie again, and you can just go around that. It's mentioned in the instructions, if you want to shorten your stitch right there, it'll give it a little more strength if your tie has a lot of weight on it, if you're busty or if you just, you know, are pulling hard on that tie. Okay, so now we're basting the armhole to prepare for the elastic. And I didn't show you guys flipping the top right side out. Just, I didn't get a shot of it, I'm sorry. Uh, so we're on the right side right now. We're, we're just using a straight stitch a half inch from the edge. And I've actually pulled my lining piece out a bit. This will keep the elastic and the neckline from kind of rolling outward. And we're just, basting around the edge. This will kind of sturdy up this spot for us to put in our elastic without having to worry about everything stretching out or going crazy. And this will get cut away, so don't worry about that. And here I'm trying to show it to you, but I don't know how to focus the camera, so. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna find the quarters of our armhole and our armhole elastic. So there's our basting stitch. As you can see, the lining is pulled out a little bit farther. And then, so we'll fold this so that we match the shoulder seam up with the side seam. And then we'll find a quarter right there. I marked it already. And then, the other side and there's a mark there it's just hard to see because it's on a blue stripe and then we have our elastic length and this is already sewn into a loop there's this adjusted length for you but you can try it on and make it longer if it doesn't feel good when you kind of put it around your arms and then you'll find the quarters just like you did with the neckline elastic but you got a loop all right let's pin this baby up so we'll match our first mark here. The shoulder seat. And then we'll go to the next one, which matches with that one so you can't see because it's on the blue stripe. Okay. This next one goes to the side seam and we're just pinning on the inside of that basting stitch because we're going to sew this elastic just inside the basting stitch so that we can cut it away the basting stitch that is there you go now we're back at the sewing machine and we're just going to stretch the elastic in between the pins like we've been doing and there we go keeping tabs on the quarters, making sure that you don't sew on top of that basting stitch because, like I said, we're cutting it away. So, But it's a nice guide, so you can use it that way. And then you make your way all the way around. 
Okay, so we just trim that basting stitch away. Do careful not to cut your elastic. That's a satisfying step. <laughs> okay, so last step, we fold our elastic back under, but we're gonna sew from the top so we have control kind of how our top stitch looks. So our elastic's folded under, and we're just stretching to straighten the elastic. We're not stretching out any extra. And you just take it slow, go around. Work it around. And that's basically it. I hope that this video is helpful and can give you a little bit of extra confidence when sewing with swimwear, which is something that's definitely intimidating. And feel free to reach out to me at hello at fridaypatterncompany.com. I try to be present for people who are sewing with my patterns because I do think of us as a community. And email me or tag me in any pictures of your creations. That's one of my favorite things in the world. So happy sewing. Bye.